What's up guys? I'm Juice and today I want to talk to you about an awesome new item I've been testing out for the past month or so. This is the Soda Pop Bluetooth speaker. I think it's an amazing little device that delivers surprisingly good sound in a small, compact package and uses a super unique system to amplify the sound. Now I've been using this for travel, backpacking, and just casual listening inside and outside of my house and I have to tell you, I'm really impressed so far. What makes the speaker really unique is that it uses the bottle to amplify the sound, which increases the sound approximately 10 decibels or about twice as much. Check it out! first saw this speaker, I knew it was just what I was looking for. I do a lot of traveling and backpacking around the country, and I've always entertained the idea of bringing a Bluetooth speaker for trips with friends, but the form factor just never worked out for what I needed. Most speakers were either too big, too heavy, only fired sound in one direction, or were just not water resistant. The spec sheet alone checked most of the boxes for what I was looking for, so I just had to try it out. Now let's talk about some of the specs of the Soda Pop Bluetooth speaker. It is designed in Norway has proprietary bass radiators and a dual precision acoustic stereo speakers which fire out of both ends. It comes in four color choices, black, blue, green, and orange. They claim up to 30 hours battery life, has a built-in microphone, IPX5 splash resistance, so they say not to fully submerge the speaker, USB rechargeable, and is delivered in a compact and travel friendly size. The price comes in at $49.99 on Amazon. The Soda Pop speaker comes with a bottle, but the nice thing is you don't need to bring it with you on the go. The threads match up with most water and soda bottles, so you can purchase these on the road or once you've arrived at your destination, which makes the speaker even more packable. For me, I use the included bottle when I'm at home and then purchase some sort of plastic water bottle or soda bottle to use while I'm on the go. Now let's talk about the things that I like about this speaker. I love the form factor. I love the fact that you can screw it on to a soda or water bottle for dramatically increased sound. I always carry water bottles on the outside of my backpack anyway, so being able to fit a speaker on one of them is amazing, and my friends really appreciate being able to listen to music on the road and out on the trail. The second thing I really love about this speaker is the sound. For such a small package, the sound that the Soda Pop speaker delivers is really impressive. The fact that it fires out of both ends is a huge bonus in my opinion. Number three, the weight. The speaker and the included bottle comes in at 10.64 ounces, 6.67 ounces for the speaker alone, and 3.97 ounces for the included bottle. The fourth thing I really enjoy about this speaker is the size. This thing is pretty small, especially for the sound that it delivers. It is much smaller than the can of soda that it's next to in this picture. The fifth thing that I really enjoy about this Bluetooth speaker is the water resistance. It's rated at IPX5 water resistance, which is really nice to have when the rain starts coming down. During a recent storm, it was dumping buckets and hailing, so I decided to protect the speaker just a little bit, so I put a Ziploc baggie over the speaker and continued jamming. Now there are a few things that I think could be improved on this speaker. The first thing are the threads. They screw on nicely, but you can't fully tighten it down. If you try to really tighten the speaker down to the bottle that you're using, it will pop right off the threads, and then you have to start all over. This only happens with third-party water and soda bottles, and not with the included bottle that comes with the speaker, so the threads must be just slightly different. Now, this isn't a huge deal, just something to be aware of. I've carried it for hundreds of hiking miles now, and it has never fallen off or even come close. The second thing that I think could be improved on this device and pretty much any electronic device these days is the battery life. They claim 30 hours of battery, but I have not been able to achieve this. I'm sure that's to do to the fact that I'm always listening to the volume at 100%. Now it gets plenty loud, but when you're out on the trail and there's multiple people listening, it's nice to jam. So typically I have the volume all the way up to 100%, which I'm sure diminishes the battery life quite a bit as opposed to the 30 hours that they say on the site. 
Now I'm seeing closer to 10 to 12 hours at full volume. The third thing that I think could be improved is the bass. Now I grew up with subwoofers in the back of my car, so I'm a bit of a bass head. And although I'm happy with the sound and the pretty decent bass that it provides, it could always be improved. For such a small package, it is great, but if they could find a way to amplify the bass even more, I definitely wouldn't be upset about it. The fourth thing that I think could be improved is the volume. This thing is loud for what it is, but if you are going to have a large outdoor party and want something that's gonna wake up the neighbors, this just isn't it. This is great for smaller groups of up to say, maybe like 15 people in an outdoor environment, but you're definitely not gonna blow anybody's doors off. And the last thing that I think could be improved is the fact that it has no USB-C. This just has the standard mini USB, which is fine, but pretty much all my devices today are all USB-C. So it'd be super nice to just have one connection to rule them all, but hey, you know, for the price and what you get, I can't knock it too much. And that's about it. Overall, I'm really impressed with the Soda Pop speaker. It has an amazing form factor for on the go and travel. It's loud, it has great sound, it's water resistant, it's light and compact, and it's just a fun device that allows you to listen to your music and podcasts on the go. Now, if you are interested in the Soda Pop speaker, there is an affiliate link to purchase it down in the description of the video, which really helps out the channel. Now, in full transparency, I do get a small percentage of the sale, so if you decide this is something you are interested in, please use that link, and it helps me put out more videos like this one. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below, and consider subscribing for more upcoming gear and travel videos. Thanks for watching. Juice.